Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Alright, as we are days away from WWE Fastlane, um, as I've done with the Chamber and with the Royal Rumble, I am doing the best of that particular WWE show, so the best of Fastlane, and then we'll definitely have the best of Road to WrestleMania after Fastlane. So Fastlane's only had four previous shows, so there's not really a lot of best of. So basically I'm doing the best 10 men's matches, and then I'm ranking the 7 women's matches. Um, so 4 shows, there's been 29 matches total, 22 men's, 7 women. So again, top 10 men's, the ranking 7 women's matches. That's really all there is to the best of Fastlane. Alright, so there's 10, the best 10 men's matches in Fastlane history. Number 10 came from last year, 2018, Shinsuke Nakamura versus the Rusev. Uh, Nakamura getting a victory. I gave it three star. Last year, also number nine in the United States title, the Viper Randy Orton defeating uh, then U.S. champion Bobby Roode, the glorious one. Uh, Randy winning the title there, and I gave it three star. Number eight comes from 2016, the Intercontinental title champion Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over the stupid cold. Kevin Owens winning or retaining his IC title in a three and a quarter star match. Number seven comes from 2015. We had the tag titles on the line. We had uh, the Brass Ring Club of the you know the Brass Ring, whatever you want to call them, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro uh, when they won the tag team championships from the Usos. Um, there in 2015, I gave that three and a quarter. Number six on the list comes in 2015. It was the United States title. We had champion Rusev defending this title versus John Cena. Rusev getting the victory, retaining that title there in a three and a half star match. This is the this is the uh, feud that went on to WrestleMania, where no one gets over on John Cena at WrestleMania. And when you could have shot Rusev up a little bit more, you'd let him lose to John Cena at Mania. Yeah, that feud. Uh, number five on the list comes from last year, 2018. The WWE title on the line in a six-pack challenge match. We had John Cena versus Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn versus champion the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ was able to retain his title there and take it on to WrestleMania. I give that match three and three quarter star. Number four comes to 2017, the Cruiserweight title. We had champion Neville um, versus Jack Gallagher. Uh, Neville was able to retain that title, and I gave it three and three quarter star. Number three comes to 2016, we had the phenomenal AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. Great match. AJ got the victory. I gave it four star. Number two comes to 2016, we had a triple threat match. Um, I believe this is one where the winner went on to WrestleMania to wrestle for the championship. We had Roman Reigns versus Barack Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose. I think that's 16. That would have been Roman and Trip Mania. Um, so Roman got the victory there. I actually gave it four and a half. It was actually a really good match because of Dean Ambrose. And Roman Reigns was able to wrestle up to Dean Ambrose. And then Lesnar was just there. And then the best match ever at Fastlane. All the way back to 2015, Roman Reigns versus Dana Bryan, four and a half star. This to me, the way I looked at Roman Reigns at that point, I realized he was a younger version of a John Cena where people, he could wrestle up to the level of people. He couldn't carry the match, but he could wrestle up to the level of a Daniel Bryan. And that's why I ended up giving it four and a half. All right, then women's matches. Uh, we have seven of them. Number seven comes in 2017. Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Sasha Banks getting the victory in a two and a quarter star match. Number six comes in 2018. We had a, a tag team women's tag team match. Naomi and Becky Lynch versus Carmella and Natalia. Becky Lynch and Natalia get the victory, or Becky Lynch and Naomi get the victory. I gave it two and a half. Number five comes from 2016. Becky Lynch and Sasha teaming up versus Naomi and Tamina. Be Becky and Sasha got the victory in a two and a half star match. Number four, 2015, Divas title. We had champion Nikki Bella versus Paige. Nikki got the victory in a two and a half star match. 
2016, number three on the list, the Divas title, Charlotte Flair versus Brie Bella. Charlotte retaining the title in a three-star match. Number two, SmackDown Women's title from 2018, champion Charlotte Flair, the Queen, versus Ruby Riot. Uh, the Queen getting to retain their victory in a three-star match. And then the best women's match at Fastlane come from 2017, the Raw Women's title on the line, champion Bayley versus the Queen, Charlotte. <coughs> This is when Bailey beat Charlotte to retain her title, three and a quarter star. This was the one, this is the show where Charlotte, where Bailey took Charlotte's streak of wins at either TakeOver or pay-per-views and was able to uh, get that victory there. So that is going to be the best matches in WWE Fastlane history. To, on Sunday we have what, eight big matches, nine big matches. Um, I know women's wise we have some great matches that are due to make this list next year. Um, Charlotte and Becky should be number one on this list next year, along with the uh, uh, women's tag team championships on the line. Definitely think that should make the list. And we also have the SmackDown women's title on the line, Asuka and Mandy Rose again. That will definitely make, obviously, top ten, there's three women's title. But I think those matches won't just be on the list. They'll be uh, toward the top of the list. That's going to wrap up the best of Fastlane. Stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the review once the Fastlane pay-per-view gets over. As always, thanks for watching the Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader, sports channel content.